You know, it seems like every day the Trump administration hits a new low. Like last week, you know, when we found out that they had taken millions of dollars from FEMA and gave it over to ICE so that they could expand their child prisons. Well, this week they actually managed to top that story because we just found out that the Trump administration is actually taking money away from cancer and AIDS research and the Centers for Disease Control and Health and Human Services. They're taking hundreds of millions of dollars away from these departments and giving it to ICE, giving it to Homeland Security to beef up and build more child detention facilities. Here's the breakdown right now. So far, it's going to be up to $266 million that we're taking away from these health organizations within the federal government. Um, there is 16.7 million coming from Head Start. There's 5.7 million coming from the AIDS research program. And there's almost 14 million coming from the National Cancer Institute. So this administration at this point is literally taking money and funding away from programs for children, programs for AIDS patients, and programs for cancer patients to try to make their lives better and, and, and basically increase their lifespan so that we can put more immigrant children in cages. That's what's happening. We're taking money away from vital programs that could fundamentally change this country forever. You know, research on cancer, research on AIDS, educating students, and instead we're going to use it to build more baby cages for the Trump administration, for Jeff Sessions. That's their priority. That's the only thing they care about. How many more kids can we cram into these crates? Oh, it doesn't matter if more people die from cancer because we're cutting all the funding for those organizations that desperately need it. We would rather see children languishing behind bars than cure diseases that are killing hundreds of thousands of people a year in the United States. That is the message that the Trump administration sent to us this week. And it is a message that resonates with every other Republican on this, in this country who still supports him. They're saying that we don't care about people with cancer. We don't care about people with AIDS. We don't care about children, unless of course we can lock those children in a dog crate.